Evicting a tenant can seem like a complicated process, but in this video, we'll quickly explain eviction laws in Arkansas and how to recover your property in six simple steps. First, what is an eviction? Eviction is the process of legally removing a tenant. It's illegal for a landlord to change locks or physically remove a tenant themselves. So if the renter refuses to leave after violating their lease, you must seek an eviction from the court. The process for simply terminating a lease differs from that of an eviction. Lease terminations require proper notice from the landlord or tenant, and state conditions can be found on our website. Legal reasons for eviction in Arkansas. A landlord only has grounds to evict a tenant for reasons allowable in the state. The first step in the eviction process is to give the lessee one of the following notices. Non-payment of rent. If the tenant is late on rent, you can serve them a three-day notice to pay or quit. This gives the lessee three days to pay the rent in full, along with any penalties or vacate the property. Non-compliance. If the tenant violates their agreement, this notice gives them 14 days to either comply with the lease or vacate the property. Rent grace period. Arkansas allows a rent grace period of five days. A notice to quit can be served after the fifth day of missed rent. Six steps to legally evicting a tenant in Arkansas. Serve the notice to quit. Choose the form you need and download or fill it out on eforms.com. Post it on the tenant's door and also send it via certified mail with a return receipt requested via USPS. If the breach is curable, you must wait the specified number of days to give the tenant a chance to fix the problem. File eviction papers with the court. If the tenant hasn't amended the issue and is still on the property, an action needs to be filed with the Arkansas Circuit Court. You'll need to submit the following forms. Cover sheet, summons, complaint, and a notice of intent to issue a writ of possession. The filing fee in Arkansas is $165. Serve the summons and complaint. After the filing, you must use a process server to serve the documents to the tenant. Judgment. After the documents have been served, the tenant has five days to pay the amount owed and file an answer with the court. If they do post the security and submit an answer, a hearing may be scheduled. If they do neither, or if the judge finds in your favor at a hearing, the court may issue a writ of possession. Removing the tenant. If the tenant is ordered by the court to leave and they don't vacate, you may call your local sheriff's department to remove the tenant and their possessions. Collecting past due rent and court fees. If the tenant's security deposit does not cover your losses, you can try to recuperate damages through small claims court. Now you can get eviction proceedings started. Get eviction forms, court documents, and all other information you'll need at the link below for free.